Our company's vision is to be the trusted partner and advisor to our clients who have small businesses all over Cincinnati. This um, group with healthcare reform has needed a lot of help and so that is our vision is to be there and walk with them as, as we all go through this new development in healthcare. I'm yet to meet a person at St. Elizabeth that doesn't share in the mission that we, we all have to serve patients. And so every day we come to work with the, that shared and aligned direction that we're going to do our best every day to support that which is the most important thing in healthcare, and that's the relationship between a patient and a physician. Um, our organization's division empowers the team that we lead because we have worked very, very hard to build a strong culture within the organization. It's been very important to us. So, and it's not just about talking about it and writing about it. It's about doing it and living it and breathing it every day. So working in an environment where there's collaboration and there's generosity and there's creativity really inspires great work and it inspires commitment and dedication from everybody within the organization. Um, advice I've received that has shaped me as a leader, um, I've been pretty fortunate to work for uh, about three different uh, people within my industry that are very well respected and very well known and all of them again kind of instilled in me that uh, people are everything in your company and you need to empower them, respect them and work with them on a daily basis to grow um, not only your business but to grow them as well and um, just got to remember that again, you know, your people are everything. I think being a leader is the same as being a good person. So it's the same as be nice to everybody. From the person you meet as you walk in the door to the CEO. Be nice to everyone. When you make a mistake, own it. Work toward improving the situation, not casting blame. As a child, I didn't dream of being where I am today. I dreamed that I would be a professional tennis player and be in Wimbledon. Um, that didn't work out, so I'm in the marketing and advertising field. But I grew up in an advertising family, so I was always exposed to creativity. And when I was a kid, I would um, head down to my dad's advertising agency and walk the halls and take a look at all the amazing work and all the awards. And, um, and I thought it was pretty cool, and so I think it just stuck. Not at all. I was at Milwaukee County Stadium playing next to Paul Molitor and, and Robin Yount and the 1982 World Series Brewers, which by the way is the only World Series the Brewers have been to. But I'm from Wisconsin, so I have to be a, a loyal fan. But no, I grew up playing baseball quite a bit and like many young boys had a dream of doing that, which quickly faded as you get older. Um, through college I had actually had plans to go into the FBI. And it wasn't until uh, those fell apart that um, I was guided towards this new and growing field of healthcare administration, and I've loved it ever since. Uh, as a child, did I dream of where I am today? Um, you know, I always knew kind of from the beginning that I wanted to be in business. My dad was a business owner, so that was obviously a big part of um, our lives growing up. So I wouldn't necessarily say that I had goals, dreams, and aspirations to be you know, president of this or that by a certain age, but um, I think that all along I always had, you know, the goal to be involved in business and in and, and a leadership capacity. When I was picking my major in school, the only thing I really knew I wanted to do was, um, back in the 80s, wear a suit and a floppy bow tie and have ice cream on the square. So no, I didn't really know where I'd be, but I knew I wanted to be in business. <laughs>